Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to answer the question how do I make profiles show up and how do I make lists. So really what we're going to cover in this video is list management which is under your components community builder list management. As you can see I already have a list here. To create a new one you just click new list but I'm going to dive into the one I've already made and use this because it's a working example. First thing I want to point out is that this top information here with the URLs are not going to be here when you create a new list. It's going to be something that's created for you after you save this list. So just keep in mind that this information will be generated for you and isn't on the original list. You're going to have the title of it. Uh, for this working example, because I'm just having one list, I'm going to call it Member Profiles. But clearly if you had different departments, in this example we have Land, Operations, and Accounting, I think. Um, you may want to title the list Accounting Department Profiles or title it Land Department Profiles. You can add a description into the list as to what it's about. Um, an example is when I click here. This information right here corresponds to what's in this box here. Now, your user groups. Um, if you want this list to be available to everybody, just set it to user group to allow access to is everybody user groups to include in the list um, public front end and then under your configuration settings you'll want to go to the user list tab um, you want to address this how many do you want to show within the list before it starts to paginate and whether it paginates or not you have that option when you're making the list but under user profile allow access to you might want to select everybody but again you've got all the different other or different permissions registered all registered users um, so author editor publisher so you've got really unlimited options but if you just want to make this a very public uh, list then uh, you know in this example we're just using everybody so going back to the list management So again, I have these set to everybody in public front end, so they'll be most accessible. Published, yes, I want it to be published. Default, is this the default list? Um, if you have several lists, of course, you can select which one is going to show by default. These two right here, you'll want to really address. They're very important. It can do a lot of things for you. Sort by, okay? Right now, I have uh, it selected to sort by name. I'm going to go ahead and remove this. And this drop-down box here is going to correspond to all the available fields you have that are found within your field manager. Up here. And it allows you to sort your information by any one of those fields. So in this example, I selected name, and I told it to sort in an ascending order. And I'm going to add that to the box. And you can even add more sort by parameters um, to get more specific. Filter. This would come into play. Um, again, it gives you a list of all the different field options you have, and the filter is a way of limiting the results. So, for example, let's say I wanted to filter by department. I would put department, and let's say equal to, and I would put land here if I wanted to show only a list of users in the land department, and I'd add that to the filter criteria. And so now, when this list is clicked on, which we'll get to, the information will only show members within the land uh, or, or with the user field defined as land which means they're in the land department and that information is going to be sorted alphabetically by their name and so this is what the sort by and the filter can do as you can see it's all going to depend on what fields you've created earlier for your users and um, your needs so this is really an open-ended way to do unlimited things on how to sort your information and how to filter it this next section down here is, is kind of confusing if you're brand new to this. Um, just understand that this is going to correspond to the different columns found within the actual user or found within the list for the, to show the different profiles. So we only have one profile right here. It's, uh, it's me and there's image, for example. Okay, and here it is under the first column. And you'll see that right here. First column title. It is enabled. We want all these to be checked, or the or the uh, columns that we want to you know use, and you have up to four. It's called image, and right here it's being sorted by the profile image, or or replacing that information. It's not being sorted. I'm sorry. Replacing that information of the pl profile in that first column. So if I remove this, you'll notice it adds it back to our bucket, our central bucket here, which corresponds to again our field managers. How many fields do we have? 
um, which is the same as this drop down box, that drop down box, all that's right here. So let's say I want the profile image to show in the first column. You would click the add button that corresponds to the upper left, since this is the this column areas in the upper left. I'd click add and bam, there it adds the image profile. Um, to drive this home, you'll notice that there's only two columns, image and name. I have another column down here called online status and the label of the column the I'm sorry it's called last online and the information that's going to go in that column is called online status but it doesn't have a check mark so if I check that it's going to activate that column let me remove this here because I don't want to limit myself so I'm going to save that and then go to the front end and refresh and now you'll see that third column shows up and it's saying I'm either online or offline so I've actually named that column wrong it would be wise to call it online question mark maybe and then save it and refresh and there it changes it. Online question mark, yes I am online. And then when you click on any of those it brings up my profile. But going back into the list, addressing the rest of the fields that you have available to you, this is how you set up the different columns when the list or profile within the list is clicked on. Those fields there determine which columns have uh, show and what information shows under each column. That's what this middle area box looking thing addresses. And then finally you have a couple other list parameters. Uh, just read what these are and you know select which one you want. The search fields, I usually like to do all searchable fields. The second one is searchable fields displayed ones only, meaning um, in your field manager you actually get to specify if you want some of the fields to be searchable or not. And if so, you would select that. Otherwise you would select no if you don't want any of them to be searchable. Search criteria you got some options here. Number of entries per page, you can limit that. Do you want to show pagination after that? And then you can have hot link protection for user lists. But the primary fields that really, uh, or the primary areas, are going to be the sort by, the filter, and this right here. That's going to be your major driving force as to which profiles show and how they show. And then once you do all that and you save the list, click Save, like I said, it's going to generate these URLs here that can be used for um, setting up different menu items and placing it on the front end of your site. So that's the first part of creating a list. It's basically that you want to make one and you want to tell it what profiles, or I'm sorry, yeah, what which profiles, which group of profiles you want to show and how you want to show those profiles within the list format. So I hope this helps out and gets you started with lists. I'll see you on the next video.